Hi guys, Andrew here from GarageFam.net Academy. In this tutorial I will show you how to import architectural drawings saved as image files like PNGs or JPEGs to 3ds Max and how to set them as references for architectural modeling. I'll also give you some tips which will make your work easier and more precise. So let's go. Before I start, I want to mention that I added custom hotkeys and some features like quick modifiers buttons to user interface. They won't interfere with this tutorial, but if you would like to see how to set them up, check my previous tutorial on our channel. I have my design here. It's saved as a PNG file. I create a plane and a very simple scanline material. It's going to be physical material and I create bitmap and link it to the material. And I click show material in viewport and assign material to selection. I will convert the plane to editable poly and add UV map to it. And I tick the option to apply the UV modifier even when I'm in the vertex level. So I can modify the plane without affecting the mapping of the reference. The display of textures in the viewport is not giving me enough information for modeling, so I will set up better viewport quality. The first thing I do is I go to viewport material settings and I click realistic materials and maps. The image still has too low quality for a reference for modeling. I go to configure viewports and set the texture maps resolution to a bigger value. The bigger the better, but basically you need to fine tune between quality and the performance of your video card. 5K is enough for me. I keep anti-aliasing off so I can save some resources. If I see any pixels in references, it means that I have reached maximum quality for displaying textures. Now it looks much better. I can also turn off blur and filtering the texture for better performance. In older versions of Max, these kind of settings were set in preferences, customized display driver settings. But if you are using older graphics card or work on a laptop, 3ds Max may not be able to use DirectX driver. For example, you can see black empty viewports or not be able to see vertex points. In this case, you should try working with a different driver like OpenGL, for example. Now I need to set correct proportions of the image. In UV map, I will use bitmap fit. So now the proportions are okay. I need to make sure that also the dimensions are correct. I need at least one or better two longest dimensions from the drawing. It's important that it's the longest dimension from the drawing because if you make a little mistake, like a centimeter on the length of, for example, 10 meters, it's not really going to make the size of the model wrong. If you made this one centimeter error, for example, on a wall which is 12 centimeters thick, then it will be a considerable mistake. Also, in general, in architectural drawing, the longest dimensions like construction axis should be correct. There may be errors somewhere on the minor features of the design. They are changed very often and sometimes they may not match the dimensions numbers precisely. Now I will create a plane 1016 centimeters long. It's going to be my measure. And I will align the size of the reference image to the measure plane. So the length of the wall on the drawing is 1016 centimeters in 3ds Max units. I move the gizmo of the drawing to the end of this measurement plane, so it will be easier to scale the drawing. And now I'm scaling the drawing. I'm checking if the plane and the drawing still match at the pivot point. It's fine. At the end I can fine tune the scaling with more precision here. And it's okay, the proportions and dimensions are fine. I will double check on the other axis and it's fine too. I have all the drawings on one sheet, so based on this one drawing, I will prepare separate ones for every view or section. I'm copying the reference and moving the vertices to get one drawing per one plane. And I center the pivot points. All of the drawings are ready. I will model the building in a way that the height dimensions of the reference, like floor levels, will match 3ds Max coordinate system in the z-axis. In Poland, where I live, the zero level of a building is the level of finished floor. Thanks to that, I will be able to use absolute values in all the fields where I input dimensions. I will not need to calculate them manually. I align the sections and plans so they match each other. To match the floor plan and roof plan, I can create a box which will mark their common element, like stairs for example. I align the roof plan according to this box. I place all the drawings around the plan and I name them accordingly. I move the plans below the zero level. 
I create a plane on zero height as a reference. I place the elevations and sections so they match the scene's coordinate system. So basically the zero level on the drawing is the zero level in 3ds Max coordinate system. I select all the references, open object properties window and turn off show frozen in gray option. And I turn on freeze so I won't accidentally move them while working. I tick back face cool on so the drawings which are turned back to me won't block out the view. But I have two drawings, the elevation and the section per every view. I will place them on different layers so I can switch between them. And the whole setup is ready. I can choose different views, switch between elevations and all my data from the drawings is going to match the 3ds Max coordinate system. Ok, that's it. I hope you will find this setup useful when modeling architecture. If you have any questions, please ask them in comments, I will be happy to answer. Check other tutorials on our channel and if you want to see more, click subscribe. See you in the next one.